Welcome to the Empire Business and welcome back to my Teutonic Order campaign for the Medieval Kingdom's 1212 mod for Attila Total War, where we're going to continue we left off from last time, where we had to restart the campaign, like I said, with the broken save, but hey, the first episode of the restart, I think, went really well. We were far more aggressive in the previous video, and have been able to do a lot more than previously. At this point in time, we are currently at war with Denmark, who does control our house up here. Um, for right now, the main goal is going to be at this point in time, we're going to keep this fight up with the forces of Denmark. And right now, my main plan is possibly... I still want to kind of control this. But also, I know if I do, it might piss people off. Uh, primarily the whole Roman Empire. And we kind of want to avoid that this time, uh, as so we don't get stuck in a war with them. Well, what we're going to do is, for right now, we are gathering forces together. We're recovering around here. And then, uh, once this finishes up... I no, won't we'll be able to recruit those. Um, I want to try and have... So like, we probably will be making a bit more money Like once this area has been able to demolish the stuff, retrain this stuff. And I'd like to get some more men in this army. I should be able to probably push over here and take this territory. I want to keep Stralsund, though. I do. I want every port. Um, but there has been an idea that I do like where I can try and have it so like... I'm. It's either I liberate Stralsund or Hamburg. And I basically turned that into a Holy Roman Empire uh, faction. Um, it's so that I can like give that land over to them so they don't hate me as much. So what I might try and do is have it so that maybe Hamburg is the one we try that with. Because I really I want every damn port. So I think for right now, though, we need to take about a turn or two to try and replenish around here. Get some more troops ready to go. And then we can try and make my way back over here at some point to try and hit them. Might actually be able to just do it next turn on so we didn't take too much damage. It just depends if this area is going to be happy. Because I know, well, with me destroying this and repairing everything, this is where I'll be able to get a priest. So we can get a priest around here to try and help out with the public order around my territories. Because I know you're fine for the most part. This area is doing better. Don't think we'll have to worry about you for the most part. That's the hope. But basically, we'll be trying to put a, a lot of attention into Denmark today. Still kind of hoping they might take out Sweden so I can take that territory from them so I don't have to betray Sweden. Uh, but we will have to see. Denmark is actually asking for a ceasefire. You guys actually took Greater Poland there. Um... I kind of don't... I, I really... I need to keep expanding. Um, does showcase, though, that they are far weaker because of this. So, Sweden is pushing forward. Don't know where they're actually going. But they actually took Greater Poland, so I might be able to take that from them. So we could try... Let's see. They've got a tiny little army up there in the north. I could actually take Aros first. I can go over there, try and claim that. I do need more troops right now. I definitely do, so I need to try and see whether or not I make enough money that I can recruit some. It is the winter right now, so we got rid of the blacksmith around there. Got a new uh, governor over here watching over this area. This area is doing okay. Um, I do have enough money. We're going to get a priest. So, ooh, that'd be a really good one. Yeah, the progressive would be a really good one to have for us. Let's look at Simon since he's younger. And then you'll be trying to help watch over this area. So if they took Poznan, that means they've got an army over there. I do have a garrison over here, so I'm going to hope they don't do anything around there. But I am making a little bit more money. So if I... Because I think I can get... Well, I can't get my swordsmen around there that I want, sadly. I have to go all the way back here to get them. I think what I will do is... I do have enough movement to get up here. I kind of want to go hit that area first. So let's go set sail. And I should just need to get close enough to see it. Is there an army over here? There is not. Okay, let's take out us. Because we can take this. Push on in here, take these guys out. Hopefully the area that I just took, Ruskilde, is going to be safe and happy for the most part. That way, uh, uh, I can try and come back down that way if I need to after the fact to try and help watch over the territory. But for right now, we're trying to be as aggressive as possible. If anything at all, now that they've offered me a piece once, I can probably get a piece again with them if I, uh, like, at this point in time. And maybe get them to give me money, too. So if they will give me money, I will gladly accept some sort of piece so I can use that time to try and consolidate what I have. Because at this point in time... 
and yeah, been able to take a little bit of land. I'm making a little bit of money, but uh, we need to try and consolidate it, make sure these areas are happy before we try and keep pushing further. So let's push on in here. Maybe just try and take uh, Strassland too as well. Uh, basically take the ports, take every port that I can from them, then offer them a ceasefire and hold off. I think that works. So for this, we'll have my infantry drop off, archers drop off, uh, skirmishers drop off. I mean, uh, I do love this area. This area has a, such a big area for me to drop troops off. Cav will stay back around if I need to. Uh, I might be able to get you guys to rush on into the city, but it's not going to be the top priority it is going after you guys. It's going to be trying to wait until I can... Like, they, they only have that much in here. Like, I have about the same amount of men. Um, you need to be slower. It takes longer to recover from T15. Let's try and get rid of this stuff if we can. There we go. So cavalry... I'll just have you guys yeah, kind of chill back up here, kind of back up a little bit more, and then just get my infantry and everybody else a little closer, and we just have to then try and bring you into the city. Alrighty, we've disembarked. Let's get my axemen in here and just start trying to distract these skirmishers. Get my swordsmen here. Try and bring you guys over to the city center, because that's our main goal, is just to rush on in here, take this as quickly as we possibly can. So crossbows, get over here. Start trying to shoot their captain that they have, which is just that basic spearman. You guys, you'll run into the axemen. I mean, sorry, the axemen will run into these spearmen, uh, these archers, I mean. Try and take them out. Once these guys are dead, then you'll be able to try and help us with DC Center. And summer wise, we do outnumber them quite heavily. We've only lost like seven dudes. They've already lost almost 50. Yeah, the spearmen's running down towards us. Crossbows, you guys in position just yet? Okay, you guys are almost in position. Uh, please open fire. Yeah, they're gonna throw jab ones, but please return fire with my crossbows. You guys should be able to easily hit this unit. Come on. You guys should easily take him out, hopefully. Let's see at the moment right now. Let's see one skirmisher there. There's one, two, three. They've got four skirmishers total, I know that. They have this swordsman here, so you guys should be able to easily deal with him. They have one more archer somewhere that I can't see. So for right now, um, I'm not going to bring my archers in just yet. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, there's one more. I just don't know where the fourth one is. It's probably it's the crossbow. It's the other crossbowman that I don't know about right now. So you guys keep trying to focus on the spearman. He's taking some good damage so far. He's down uh, about 20 guys already. So once he's dead, we'll make our way into the city center. And it looks like most of their troops are over here. So we'll just have to set up to try and help defend that spot. You guys should do well against the swordsman that's coming on in here. Okay, you're already slaughtering him. Oh yeah, there you go. Good amount of damage. Yeah, take him out. And then I'll probably have you guys maybe just keep running around this way. Uh, that guy's already broken. Okay, let's get over here. So right there. Crossbows set up because again it looks like most of their attention's over here yeah there's the other crossbow yeah there's the other crossbow so all their troops are over here so let's have you guys actually uh run over here take this tower capture that for us and then for the most part it's just holding the city center ah uh, they noticed okay they're bringing in their calf so the calf is now trying to push on in through i've got my men put into shield wall hold the line but my crossbows return fire, and you guys should be able to easily deal with this guy. Uh, he's doing some good damage there. Axeman, right now, you're just capturing points for us to make it so it's a bit easier to take the city. This seems doing some good damage here to one of my guys. Crossbows are doing some good damage. We only have to hold out for another 50 seconds. So we can hold out for another 50 seconds. And yeah, there we go. Okay, this is shattered. You guys took a beating there. Well, the battle's almost over now at this point, and we didn't even have to fight all of these guys. It's perfect. So I will be able to easily recover that. Let's see, is that mine? Yep, yeah, that is. Beautiful. So Arhus is now under my control. I think what we'll do is we'll probably be sitting here at least one turn. I think what we'll do is we can set sail next turn to get into... Um, next turn we can try and get into our skill day again. Then, I think, try and hit uh, Stralsund. Take that. Then we offer Denmark Peace. And we just focus on controlling the territory and subjugating the stuff that we just took from them. I think that's a good way to go about it. It's like right here. Let's repair all this stuff. Uh, that one we don't want to... We don't want to demolish this stuff, but I don't have the money to repair it right now. So that's okay. Let's have you get more campaign movement range. Grab you that. 
And then for the most part, I've got that. I don't see anybody over here. If they start sieging the city, I think I will then try and offer them peace because I do not want to let them have a chance to try and push on into this territory. So ideally, uh, ooh, also I just found a bunch of factions. Can I trade with you guys? Just like last time, I want to be able to get over here and get some good in, uh, relations with you guys. Looks like Wales isn't as powerful as last time. England's doing well for themselves. Hey, England, you want to trade? Trade agreement low. No. Because at the moment, Denmark hates me. Um, dilemma events. Oh, they liked that thing that I had with Pomerania. I know Sweden still fucking loves me. I probably shouldn't betray Sweden, but I know at some point, I just really want that territory of theirs. I really do. Okay. Well, for right now, we'll sit here for a turn. Uh, I think next turn we should be okay to make my way back around over here. Basically, next turn we'll sit in Ruskill Day for a turn. Then we try and hit Stralsund. Then I try and offer Denmark a piece. Alrighty. Oh, fuck. Someone getting against us. So, well, you got a coastal city. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think that's part of the Holy Roman Empire territory. Sweden's actually taking Hamburg, uh, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so this army here, again, I think, yeah, so we should go back to Roskilde for a turn. We'll get some more recovery while chilling here. And then next turn, I'm going to hit Stralsund. And there would be more ballsy anyways. I think we'll just keep fighting around here. Um, I'm making a little bit more money. Uh, I do need to have it so over here. I need to repair this. Also, uh, let's see, you guys have... Yeah, you plenty of food. I want to convert this over to the trading dock. And that's the thing I hate. The conversion costs cost so much right now. There's like a, a lot of things I want to switch out right now, but we don't have the money for it. I know you... Um, I should probably go send over here just because we need to help with the conversion. Like, it's doing better, but I, I need to convert my capital. So let's go over there, send you that way. This turn, we'll just get more recruitment, even more, more, more punishment. Stralsund, we attack next turn. Then we'll offer Denmark a piece. And, oh man, Denmark has a lot of land around here, actually. Um, I'm not, and then again, I'm not opposed to attacking you and holding this. I like coastal cities. I want more coastal cities. So I'm not opposed to taking more of them. They're, they're now offering me money for the peace treaty. Not yet. Not yet. Again, I think I can take that island of theirs. Yeah, so, sorry, the coastal city they have. So I want to take Stralsund, then I'll offer them cease, a ceasefire. Because at that point in time, that'll be the most land I want from them for right now. Because coastal cities are so easy to attack, and they give me a lot of benefits, especially if they have the uh, trade ports, which is what I want out of them. I'm going to have to deal with you guys at some point. I wonder if I can maybe get you guys to not want to fight me. Although if I get a full stack army, I think we'll be okay. But yeah, let's have you... Let's make my way over here. We'll take this this city. And then that will be when I offer Denmark a peace treaty. Because at this point in time, they have some other territory. But for right now, at least, I don't want to deal with that. The, the one thing about this mod in general is honestly, assaulting settlements with... Ever since I found out how fun cannons are in this mod... Um, and how easy it is to blitz cities when you have artillery. I don't want to assault cities without artillery. <laughs> unless they're a coastal city. I do not mind. I really have a lot of fun attacking coastal cities. Um, because it's so fun to like, hey, make a breach. Get into the uh, drop off in the port. And just take the city from the inside. I really love that fantasy. It's a really fun thing to do. Um, so let's start to moment. Cav, okay, I'm going to have you guys back up again in case they have it so they want to try and shoot you with artillery pieces my fleet get you guys a little bit closer and then we just need to try and start having you guys set sail make your way on inside i'll have to have my infantry initially first drop off so yeah you guys drop off here crossbows get closer because you will be able to provide some support at least Alrighty, we're making our way in axemen start trying to surround please hopefully their crossbows aren't going to turn around over here because for right now, we should be able to easily try and win against these guys in melee as long as we can try and flank them i'd like to take out the towers and as soon as they're up there, skirmishers are moving. As soon as they start moving, I want to get you guys to start trying to make your way over here to try and break down the gates. Because if anything at all, I'm okay with us taking a little bit of damage because we're going to be trying to offer them a ceasefire immediately after this anyways. 
So you're winning there. You're winning there. There we go. Because these guys are moving about. So while they're moving about, now let's bring my cav in to try and support. Because these two units should be dead any uh, in a bit here. Yeah, you took... I really like these Axemen. I can't wait to see these Axemen be upgraded. Like, once we are able to increase our uh, units to higher tiers. I think these Axemen are really fun to use. Let's get the Axemen to keep trying to pressure over here. Try and hit those units of crossbows and archers. So you guys will do that. Skirmishers, I think you guys uh, now try and disembark. Because I'm going to have to have you guys try and focus on the captain once again. You guys should make short work of these bowmen with my axes. So you guys can just take them out. I do have the one spearman. Who, once the gates are under my control, which that's about to be any second now. I'll have you guys try and help flank. And then these guys should die pretty nicely. There we go. Okay. Flank, with the, with flank with the cav. This guy is almost dead. Man, they're dying really quickly. They've lost half their army already. Yeah, let's get my cav in here. Help flank around against the spearmen. Axemen. Yeah, there we go. Focus on the uh, spearmen more sp so specifically. Out of these two. Because my, uh, my cav will do okay. But it is a spearman. So they might be able to do some damage if we're not too careful. That guy's about to break there. Let's see how you guys are doing. Still holding. I'll bring my axemen over there uh, once we are done with the, the spearmen. Should be any second now. He's active. Oh, yeah, you guys finally lost. Okay. Let's now... Let's have you take this tower out first. Take the tower out first. Crossbows. They have some guys over here. Okay. Let's get you to start trying to form up here. Start trying to form up there. Start trying to focus on the captain. That's Spearman. Instead. Once you're done with this guy, I'm probably going to have to have my cav run over here and try and deal with this archer. Because this guy here... Man, you really don't want to die. There we go. Now he's finally dead. Okay, let's now go after this archer. Then Axemen. Uh, I'm going to have you guys break this barricade down. Crossbows, you just need to start trying to focus on the uh, captain here. So fire on into him. That's a bit more damage than I'd like. Uh, let's see. Swordsman. Just try and get over there. Try and have these two go here. You try and run back here. Don't fight him, him in melee. Just to make sure you're trying to get in position. Yeah, you two can start shooting him out immediately. These two keep pulling back. Keep pulling back. You should be okay. You'll recover. I don't know, you guys are just casually walking. We gotta help out with the, this uh, captain here for right now. Finish him off. Yep, he's broken. Go after the archers. I don't even think... Yep, no, we don't even need to capture the safe center. Hell yeah. There we go. So now, we will offer Denmark a ceasefire and see if they'll accept it. Hopefully they still will. Hopefully I'll get some good money out of them too. Then I need to try and have it so we build up. We're going to have to take a couple turns to make sure that we are watching over um, our area. And as long as we are able to try and have it so that we can get my economy up and running a little bit more and all these areas are happy, I will be able to start developing my forces a little bit more. Let's occupy this. Yes. And then again, this is technically, technically it is a Holy Roman Empire area, but I want to keep it. Um... This workshop I don't think I want to keep. Not right now, at least. Uh, this I want to repair just because we're going to be trying to convert it over. I need to turn this into food, basically. Try and turn that into food. But for now, let's go talk to Denmark, because we've now split you in half. So now... Technically, I think I... No, it's already high, so I can probably be fine. Demanding money. How much money can I get out of you guys? So, at the moment... I'm going to guess probably 3k. No, even less. 2,000? Oh, 2,500? Yeah, I, I can probably get 2,500. There we go. So 2,500 from you guys. We gave you a ceasefire. Now, we're going to be trying to build ourselves up. So we need to get that stuff there. You guys are good here. And then for right now, we're just going to need to keep watching over these territories. Again, this is trading dock, so that's good. This, I do want to convert over to a... It's going to be all the money I have right now. But I want the trading dock. I want the trading dock because it'll make us more money. And we don't need the food over here right now. So I want to go with that. But for right now, we're going to have to just keep watching over these territories for a couple turns. Ooh, actually, do I have enough money for all this right now? Oh, I want to get the armor upgrades first. Because I'm, I'm going to demolish it. But I, I, I can grab the armor upgrades like right now at least. Because I will want to have something like that be at some point. But for right now, we need food in this area. So we'll get this get rid of this and have that be turned into food. Alrighty, so let's see. So for right now, gained. Nice, I like that. Um, faction discovered, Hansi de Klee. 
Okay, so that, okay, you guys actually liberated that. And now it's the hand seat there. Um, okay. And then let's see, this area... Actually, it's not pissed off about the whole... Interesting, I like that. Okay, keep demolishing this. Yeah, we need to get food over here because we have a food shortage right now in this area. Uh, rank gained over here for the governor I've got in this area. You guys currently have this as a trading dock. That's good. This area, I do need to switch this over to a trading dock. I'll use our money right now for that. And then this area here, we need food. Actually, I probably should grab that first. This is okay, keeping it as the fishing dock for right now. Doesn't even give me as much money, but it's okay. Um, I do need food around this area, though. Do grab that. Um, for right now, the food import's actually a big uh, problem with it. Instability is a little bit. Religion is helpful. Taxes, characters, difficulty level. Yeah. Food, it's minus eight right now. It's a little bit of food. I want this. I need to get some stuff built up around here more, so. I need food, but we also need to get more public order. Like, I want to keep this because it gives you more money. But I think we will have to try and uh, get rid of that at some point. But for right now... I think we'll just have it so we'll just keep hopping through these territories. If we just keep hopping over the, through these territories, keep watching over them, um, we should be okay. We're, we're going to take a couple turns trying to just focus on consolidation. Because, like, this area is actually happy without anybody in here. A well, skill day is not. Um, Aris is pretty close, actually. So if we just get this area to grow, or if we can just, like, build this up, uh, if I can just get enough money, then that should be good. I should try and see if there's anybody that wants to trade with me. Because if I can get some trade right now, low, who likes me? So, Sicily, we offer you honest no, I'm still low. We are, England, always, still low. You guys, low. I can make a lot from you guys, though. Pisa, still low. Okay. So we'll just have to go along with that for right now. In the meantime, we can keep trying to recover. Um, and we'll just keep trying to build up the stuff. I think for right now, though... I do want to have that, but I also don't know if I need it right now. I might have it so that maybe I... I could possibly demolish this building. And switch it to something else so you guys are actually happier. I could do that. Because religion's not going to be an issue around here. It shouldn't be an issue around here. So I think for the most part... I mean, maybe or those. Because the maintenance is pretty high. Because, like, I... If anything at all... Yeah, because we need more money. I'm tempted to. Because, like, I know, like, over here, I want to get a baker. The bakers are a great way to give us a little bit more money, a little bit more sanitation, public order, all that stuff. Good building. Um, it might not be bad to get that in there in some of these areas. If anything at all, though, I still am over with you guys. So I think what we might do is, for right now, uh, we'll just try and watch over these territories for a little bit, get them to be happy without me having to sit in these territories. Then I might... I'm five units down. I'd want one more cav unit, and I'd want the rest as swordsmen. So we could try and go back over here, get that. And if anything at all, I know, like, once we, like, get these areas happy, like, my priest is coming over here, he's going to start watching over this territory. Once we get it positive, then that will actually have a more more of a benefit for my for my income. All right, let's see. So I fa failed a mission, sadly. Uh, I'm not going to go at war with Keeve right now. Uh, finish our uh, food shortage issue. So you guys now have some food over here. This area is doing a little bit better. It's minus two. Instability-wise. So this is actually pretty close. This area is pretty close to being happy on its own. Um, I do want to try and have it so you. Um, won't have the maintenance cost, but it will also give us some more food, sanitation, and wine, which is more important. So I'm going to have it so we're going to grab that around here. I think that will be then... Does this give public order? It does give public order with that. This doesn't. It's technically, it will actually go down from that. Otherwise, like I know this gives public order, so we'd have to maybe save up for that. But I think we'll get more switching that out. And for right now, at least, I'm just going to have it so that we're just going to keep going through these areas. Just spend a turn in each territory every once in a while. So just keep going, go around through the sea, so that way we don't take attrition. So just go here, keep helping out, keep watching over these areas. Because if we can just make sure that you guys are positive public order, you guys will start actually growing a little bit faster. Um, we were able to demolish the stuff over here, though. I now need to have it so that we're definitely going to get some food around this area. So get a, me a field, I would say. So grab that. Um, conversion there. That's good for us. Faction-wide bonuses. And then for right now, at least. Peace negotiated. 
Because, like, what I could do... Yeah, because I want to get these areas just relatively happy. Close enough that it's fine that we could possibly move out of here. And then I want to try and have it so that we'd go back. I'd have to go back it all the way back here to try and have it so we can get the troops I want. So we'll go over here, have you set up, set up shop. You'll start helping conversion uh, around this area. So if you can get this high enough, uh, the religious differences is not going to be an issue. And slowly but surely, it is going up now. Like, we do have more money coming on in now. So you guys will be able to slowly but surely try and convert those areas. And research-wise, right now at least, I'm always on the thing that will reduce construction cost, which is pretty nice. Um, for right now, we don't have anything else that will give us more, like, public order. I'm probably going to be grabbing this, honestly. So, like, we'll continue doing this research, then go down here. That'll give us 5% more maritime commerce. And with us going with all of these ports, that'll definitely help us a lot. We just need more trade right now. That's the thing. We need to somehow get more trade with people. Because if I can get some more trade, then we'll be able to have it so we'll be able to start boosting up our economy a little bit. Like, do you guys want to trade a little bit? Moderate. If I offer you money, you'll probably actually accept that. So, payment. Let's see if I offer 1200 it takes like 10 turns to make that back. Um, let me try 600 Let me try 600 do I have to offer you the 1200 If I can get trade, though, that will be really nice. Let's try 1200 Okay, so now we're, now we're trading with you guys. It's kind of interesting. Eventually, I'm going to go to war with you guys as well. But still, it's like, okay, we now have some trade with you. Genoa. Be welcome. I That's listen. low. Pisa. Low. If it's moderate, we can definitely swing it. Well, not this turn, but maybe next turn. I welcome you on behalf Celestia, of the people. still low. Yeah, this is why I want to get this switched over to having wine. Because the more resources we have, the more likely they are to actually want to trade with me. Alrighty. Money is going up slowly. I do appreciate that. Okay, so for right now, though... Let's see. This area here... I don't have a governor in this area. Because currently we only have governors for these three territories um, at the moment. I do need to make sure, though... I need to seek a wife for myself. I don't want to forget about that right now. Um, I don't think I'm going to... Let's see. So you are governor, though. You're my brother. Brother-in-law. I'm going to have you try and now... Let's see. So we want the... Yes, yeah, so this one. So I'll have you try and get a, a rank up. That way, you'll be a better governor for us. And then that will help out overall in due time. Um, I would say for right now... Let's see. I think we'll sit here for one more turn. Then let's go over here for one more turn, and then we'll be making my way over. Basically, I'm going to spend a couple turns of gathering money together. Then we'll make my way over here, do some recruitment, and... Well, technically, I can't... I won't be able to get the crossbows around there. Oh, no, it does. Yeah, level one auxiliary crossbowmen. Oh, no, the order crossbowmen are the ones I want, though, because that's, that's what I have right here. But I can get those guys somewhere else. So for right now, though, we'll save up a couple turns. Try to have it so that these areas are to be a little bit happier. Then we'll go back, grab troops. I should have... These guys are 250 each. I'd be grabbing three of them. That's 750. I then want to grab one of you. So that's 950. One of these guys. I'd barely make money. But we could have that full stack army. With that full stack army, I'd feel pretty good making my way over here, attacking them. Even with their full stack force in there... With us disembarking, I can take that city. Alrighty. Ah, oh, rejection. You at least got your office. So I was rejected there. Rank gain. That was for you. Good. That will help us out with the religious conversion around here. And get this area a little bit happier. Because yeah, as soon as we get this place better, they'll be doing... You'll be having more money from income, from that and more growth. Uh, we've got disease over here. Okay. I'm just going to make sure I don't walk in there. But for right now, let's go back over into Rust Skill Day for a turn. Yeah, you guys are not going down anymore, which is good. So yeah, so you're okay. You're stable. Although, again, that's because of this. So, But again, I want, I want to grab this. I think that will help us out more uh, with my trade by grabbing that. And once this area grows, or if I get enough money, I can just build that up there. So we'll keep making my way around here. I'd say next turn, I will move out of here. This area will probably be good enough then. We'll set sail. Probably takes me about two to three turns to get over here. In the meantime, I'll just keep gathering and saving up my money for the recruitment that we'll be doing. Um, then, I'll have my full stack army. 
Well, I get that full stack army, make my way back over here, and hopefully then I don't piss anybody off from taking that territory. But Because it, it is a territory I want to have. Will you not hmm. allow us to lighten your load a bit? I have to pay you for this, but I'm okay with that. Again, I'm trying to not piss off the entirety of the Holy Roman Empire. So let's accept that. We'll go along with it, because at least for right now, that gives me some non-aggression pact with you guys. So we have that. And now we're getting our research stuff built up there. And how much does that reduce the stuff by? Well, let's see. Uh, what was one thing I'm trying to just see how much that reduced it by? Because this was originally like 6k. Yeah, it's a, it's a decent, like, small little money saving that we get right there. Okay. Uh, Fifth Crusader's lost. No shit. <laughs> okay, but let's set sail. So, you guys are going down a little bit. Basically, we'll probably, like, probably set back up in that city again once we get over there. But let's make my way over to Riga. So, it's two turns. So, I'll have about 7,000 gold to do my recruitment. And I will be barely making money once we do. So, that's okay. Um, I will keep double-checking if I can trade with anybody. So low. I think once we get the wine, though. You guys are... You might start liking me now, though, because you really have that non-aggression pact. So, if we can get that going, that'd be great. Let's see. League. Moderate. If I offer you just a little bit of money, that might go through. So, let's try... Try 600. All right, that's 720. Let's try 720. No. No, nope, that's not what I want. Uh, come on, I want this trade. But I don't want to give you too much. 1100. That's the most I'd offer. Take about 10 turns to get that money back. But we now have some more trade there. Anybody the here? No, that's low. I you guys, you still low. We need to get that wine. Welcome, worthy friend. Yeah, it's low. It's low. Sicily still now. We are, as always, a no. welcoming. Okay, that's fine. If anything at all, right now it is uh, one more turn. That will finish up. Then I'll start exp exporting wine at least. So I think my trade income will actually jump up quite a bit once we finish that. Alrighty, let's see. So we finished that. Yep, that did jump up my trade. I thought I was going to. Okay. So that that is totally worth the fact this area is now a little pissed off, but that's okay. It's growing. If we can get this to grow, we can get another building over here to help out with public order. Or, if we have enough money, we can just upgrade the castle. So that is good. We now make, yeah, because I make now 500 more gold per turn, which is really nice. Let's keep setting sail. Keep making my way over here. You've got another rank up. I want to have you, again, we want to get the stuff for the conversion first, primarily. So, start going over here. Clumsy, success chance, that's fine. We're not going to worry too much about that. But no, next turn, I'll be able to drop off over here. Have about that 7,000 gold. Um, and I will be able to start doing my recruitment, which is perfect. Um, I know... Yeah, most of these areas are okay for right now. It's just you guys. These two right here are a little struggling. They just need a little bit more public order. And then these areas will be fine. Either I need to have a better governor or I need to build more stuff in those territories so that you guys are not going to be an issue. Alrighty, so there we go. I got a little bit more money now. Um, let's see. Political gain. Mandorf. Uh, I don't remember who the hell I'm, gonna, I'm not going to block the promotion. I need to remind myself who Landorf is. Okay, you're one of my governors. Um, I might allow you to do that later on, but I need to seek a wife again. So let's try and do that. Then my army... Let's make your way into Riga. So we'll set up here. And then I am able to... I am able to get my swordsman. So what I want to do is I want to grab... Oh, I don't have a lot of pop population for this. So I can get you guys... God, that's almost all of the burgers that we've got around here. I want one more cav unit. And then I can't get the crossbows over on around here. So we'll be okay. So we'll just do that. Actually, am I able to recruit those cav units over here? I think it'd be around here is where I'd be trying to get that unit. I hate that this is glitched. I don't think it will. So, basically, we have to sit here for four turns, grab these units. Once we have them, then we'll set sail, drop off over here, whichever one lets me recruit crossbows. I think it was... No, it's not you. I think it might be this one. One of you lets me recruit crossbows. I think it's the good things. So we'll do that. Uh, in the meantime, then, I can actually use my money to kind of upgrade other things. This area is actually doing really well for uh, right now. So let's actually get you to upgrade this. Because I'll get a little bit more money and a little bit more food. So I would probably go with the... Because we want to get the pig style and the cattle herds. And it'll be the cattle herd gets me the most money. So let's grab that. Get a little bit more cash from there. 
and then these areas, I need to wait until they grow, or I save enough money to just build these up, because you, you have plenty of food in Arnos, but again, I do want to get rid of this fishing dock at some point, so we might not want to, let's see, that gives me 200 gold, got the trading docks, oh, that gives me 400, oh yeah, I, I'm saving up and grabbing that. Public order wise, you'll be a bit more upset, but I think you'll be worth it for the money. The world, They're offering a marriage. Um, to me, I'd have less authority, but I get more personal influence. Um, authority is primarily used for governors. I'm not governing as my lord. I I have been trying to find a wife, so you know what? I will accept it. You're not asking for anything from it, so I you know what? I'll take it. I will take it. I don't like how Denmark's right next to Strasund. But at the moment right now, I think it's okay. You guys are probably going towards Sweden, because you're still at war with them. Sweden keeps trying to ask me to join them, and I'm like, no. I don't want to. So at this point in time right now, I'll let you guys just keep going towards Sweden. I just need to build this army up. Because you guys are thankfully just sitting there. And you do a big a big army, but we've been able to win fights like that in the past. So you have normal marriage. Uh... like that at all okay so we don't have enough money to build anything else right now at least i know next turn i'm going to be making less money since this is about to finish with some recruitment over here because that is yeah going to be about 750 i'll still be making about 1400 during the turn end and at least i know i'll be making a little bit more money uh next turn yeah next turn when this finishes up i'll make a little bit more money there you guys can't really get anything for right now i will want to get this but it's just, it, the the Mm. The Baker buildings are just cost so damn much. Also, one off. Okay, I'm gonna take this. Again, counter to what happened last time, I'm trying to make sure we actually don't have to fight all of the Holy Roman Empire. So, getting more of these non aggression packs is definitely gonna be very beneficial for us. For right now, though, we just need two more turns. This army will then be able to make its way out of here. Um, I then just need one more crossbowman, and I'll feel like that army's good. Uh, we were able to finish this, so we make a little bit more money. That's good. So, we got that. Um, for right now. Full quarter wise is just going down. I need more growth around this area, but I would like to get another cattle herd. Because you guys don't have a lot of food, so it would just be a minus one for public order. It's already going down, so I think let's grab that just to make us a little bit more money. And then I don't have enough for anything else. Peace negotiated. I might as well check and see if there's more people that want to trade with me. The more people that want to trade. Oh, that's welcome. all I'm trying to do. The more people that want to trade with me, especially now that I have my wine. Oh, the, the better. Now that I have that non-aggression pact. Oh, there we go. I have to pay 200, but I'll easily make that back in a turn. So gladly. God, people people are liking me now. It's funny that the more aggressive version of this campaign is the one where people actually like me more at this moment in time, which I find hilarious, and I love that. So we'll gladly be making our way over here in about two turns, and I will have another area for expansion. I will still want to try and take Poznan at some point, because that's a territory I know is not in, yeah, not in the Holy Roman Empire territories. I thought this was, but I guess it's not. So if that's not in the area, then I just want to take out Denmark, because I don't want to have to deal with them. Um, also, just be a nice way to connect my territories around here. So that way it would be a little bit safer. But hey, this area at least I know is going to be a really good place just for another coastal port. Faction emergence. So do you guys, uh, yep, they did come back. Okay, so you guys just came back around there. Interesting. Wait, who's, oh, that's Kiev again. Um, I was my trade from that. That's okay, though. Um, let's see, we're declared there. Rank gained. A lot of people gained ranks. So I gained a rank for myself. Next turn, I'll be able to move out of here. I want to grab. We're going to get the stuff for integrity. How can I you need more stuff for conversion. And then we want to slowly be able to get over this so we can get the corruption reduction as well. And then it was uh, Landorf, I think it was. You also had a rank up as one of my governors. Yes, you did. So let's grab you some more um, gov uh, just gov uh, public order from that. And then you are currently the governor of which area again? Uh, actually, I think you were in Rust Guild. Yeah, so you were helping out around there. Okay, perfect. So that's good for that. Next turn, we'll be able to move out. And I am slowly starting to gather more money. I think... I'm probably going to have it... Okay, so, well, I'm actually about to grow this territory soon. So I'll be able to grow Riga soon. I need to get some sanitation. I'm probably going to grab a baker because that gives me both um, public order, sanitation, and some more income from my husbandry buildings. Which Actually, maybe I should switch this over to a cattle herd. I'll make more money. I will have less food, but I would get more money from it. 
Mm, I think we'll hold off on for it right now. Alrighty, let's start moving my army out. So, let's make you move out. This area is now at 100% again. Uh, let's set sail. I'm pretty sure this is where I got the crossbow last time, so we'll stop over here. We'll need two more turns to get that. And I'll still be making some more money. So we've just finished that construction there. For some influence for you. No, you do I Can I take that away from you? Um, I don't want you to have that. <laughs> I want it. And I can't take it away from you. Fuck. Actually, uh, let's see, so you get the mace. I, I need to make sure I have good personal influence, so I'll at least switch that out there. So I'm going to switch that out there, keep making my way over here. Next turn, this is going to grow, so I'm going to actually just save my money that I have right now, because I want to get that baker. Uh, on that, we have succession, procrastinator, finish that recruitment, and then we have uh, assessing the fallen character. I, I don't have an assassin, so I can't do that, but okay. But that's fine. So, just need to keep making my way over here. Actually, I could, well, it just costs more. I could definitely grab a guy that starts getting me the units now. It saved me, like, one turn. So, I think we'll ignore that. Okay, so, now, populations are bustle events. Yeah, so let's drop off over here. Pretty sure this is where I got my crossbow. So, we will grab that here. Yeah, so it is. So, I can get one more crossbow here. I'll have enough money. Making money now. Livonia grew. So what we want to do over here right now is let's go. So we need to get this first. Get this. Turn it into a baker. Um, I will have just enough money once that finishes. So we can get the baker. That will help us out a little bit with the sanitation. Just barely gets us into the positive. But now that we've got at least one territory growing, this will be a bit better. I can actually probably move my lord, this guy out. Because, let's see, it's at 70% right now. I think I might wait until it's like 80. Then I can move you out of here and have you go walk over. Like, these areas... I don't have to worry about conversion as much, but sending the priest over here to kind of watch over the territories will help out. That'll make it so we don't have to worry about you guys getting so pissy right now. But yeah, two turns, finish this up, then we'll have you set sail, make your way over here, then we can try and take the city. So you got another rank gained here for one of my other governors. Let's go grab you that rank up. So that was for Livonia, you. You should have a rank up here. I'm going to have you get more of the public order and then some more cunning because you'll now start trying to get this stuff. Then, next turn, you'll be able to move out of here. Um, I want to save my money for right now because I know the bakers are pretty expensive and I want to put that over here. Got some disease over in Aras. You guys are going to be a little pissed off for a bit. But hey, the area is growing. If we can get it to grow, I can fix the public order issues. I know, again, before we, as we're making our way over here, I will stop in these territories at least one turn each to try and help out with the public order, just to make it so that you guys are going to be doing a little bit better. I do want to try and see, let's keep checking if I can get more trade. Because as I've been training with more people and they like me more, I can keep checking to see. No, I'm still low. Oh, I can make so much money from you guys. Oh, there's a lot of money there. Um, England. Nope. Can't trade with you guys, Sicily. Nope, still no. Genoa and Pisa, let's try you guys. They're the last ones I think that maybe would consider it. Oh! Okay, I'd have to give you money. But, let me try offering 700. 1,000? It's 1,000. Oh, offer payment. Oh, that's too much. I want to try 1,000 gold. Oh. More? No, we're not gonna do it right now. If it costs more than a uh, oh, thousand gold, then I'm not. It's not worth it. Oh hell no! I'm not paying you for this. No, 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 no. You declared war on me. There is no way in hell I'm paying you to stop this fight. If you were actually winning against me, maybe, sure. But no, you're not. Um, I still need. I know. I actually am good. I'm good to go. So we finish that recruitment. <sighs> Unjust, dude. Okay, that's great. Uh, fashion line. Ooh, that's good. Okay, we've got to get City Square over here now. So now what we need to do is I need to have you make this into a baker. That'll give us more public order, more presentation, a little bit more money from my animal husband. So I really should switch this over. Right now, I'm only, it's only going to give me like another 12 gold. If I switch this over to a cattle herd, though, it give me another 25 gold. So it's, it doubles the amount. It's a small amount, but it, it does build up. So I might have to switch that out sooner or later. But for right now, let's keep setting sail. I'm going to have it so that we're going to set sail over here. I do want to stop off in Rust Skill Day for at least one turn, get you to try and reduce that. Same thing with Aras. So it's going to take us a couple turns to get over there. So one, two, 
and then probably three, four maybe. It's gonna take us like four turns to get there, but at least that will be, you guys will be happier. And hey, these areas are close to growing. You just need to get to seven, you need to get to nine. So we need to get the growth to go up a little bit higher. And if I can get the populace up a little bit happier, we should be okay. Cause I think then, I think I can move you out. Yeah, let's move you out of here. Yeah, this area's good, this area's good. So let's move you out of here. Try and have you make your way over to Ross Skill Day. Because if I can get this positive, hey, that's going to be another two growth per turn. Alrighty, let's keep sailing. Because for right now, at least, stop here for one turn at least. I want to try and drop that down a couple of, a couple points. Uh, got some disease over here. And we did lose somebody. Um, that's okay, though. Yeah, you keep trying to make your way over here. Because basically, this is just one turn of dropping this down as much as we Oh, look, I could, we could just keep moving me to the city faster but I'll get the population it'll get the population a bit happier if I sit here at least one turn this is at minus 48 right now so mm, I, I, sh I I'll sit here I need to sit here at least one turn you sit there for at least one turn just to get that to drop a little bit lot more and if anything once my priest gets here because we can only have one priest right now correct uh, yeah, I can only have one priest right now. I need to increase my um, Imperium level, and then I'll be able to get a second one. Alrighty, let's keep moving. Because at this point in time right now, yeah, it's a little bit better. I do think we should still go over here for at least one turn. Set sail, get an RS, get us up a little bit more. Because it's only going minus four right now. You're going to be about here next turn, so you'll at least be able to help out. That will go positive. So I think that'll be an issue. So then we'll be able to have you guys make your way out. And you're about to grow these areas. They're getting close. Uh, you're at four, you're at five, so you're almost there. Got an illegitimate birth between, God damn it, Conroy and Conrad. You need to have your own kids, my good sir. Um, other than that, right now, the baker built up over here in Labona. So now, we'll be able to get a little bit more around here. You guys are doing okay. Can't build anything else around here, but hey, if anything all, I do have the money. I'll probably just save up to get this, because that'll give us more public order, gives us a little bit more money. I just need to save up for the building. And then that'll be a nice way to kind of improve that area. Although maybe I should technically do that for over here. Especially for you, because you have... This will then give you public order around this area. Alrighty, let's keep sailing. Hopefully we'll be able to finish this off soon with you guys, because my war worry is, is getting pretty high up. Let's have you keep making your way over. So it'll take us about... Uh, come on, where is it? Come on. There it is. So it'll take about two turns to sail over here. Two turns to sail over. Then we can start trying to get rid of you guys. I can at least have you go here now. So let's have you start watching over this territory. So now it's going to start going positive. Uh, you guys are going down. Part of it is mainly also the disease stuff too. I think I'll make less money, but I at least can grab a lord over here to try and have it so... Let's not get you. Uh, let's get you. Have you reinstated a legacy? I'm going to have you chill over here. That'll help out. I make a little bit less cash, but I can at least have you chill here. Um, and I think I'll try and make that little other army that we can have, so that, that way I can have something around here to help public with the public order. If I need to, I can get rid of this force, but eventually I'm going to need a second army anyways. I do think for right now, though, because I want to make more money and we don't need the excess food around here, I do want to switch this over to a trading dock. That will make me more money over time, so let's go grab that. And then just need two turns for you to try and sail your way over. And then hopefully it's not going to be that bad for us to fight you. It'd be great if you move that army out of the way. Even still, I think we should be okay. I know they have a lot of troops, but if they let me take the city center, we've got this element. Keep on sailing, my dudes. Uh, get more consumption. I, I really do just need to get more of my um, sanitation up there. Natural causes there, is that my... Yeah. My sister, she did. I really do need to turn back the four turn per, uh, per mod. Oh my god, four turns per year mod to back on. I won't. It won't affect this campaign. Um, seeing as how this one has already been started, it's not safe compatible. But we'll be doing that for sure for the next campaign. Even though it kind of messes up the um, events a little bit, where things like don't happen at the right time, I, it works so much better for other things. Like people die too quickly when it's the normal default. Um, let's keep eating this research for right now. I keep trying to do that. And then I don't have anything else to build right now. It's basically just like, hey, I'm trying to get this area happy, trying to get you guys happy. I know like once the consumption goes away, you will be okay. 
but I'll just keep making my way over here. I just, I wonder if you guys would actually want to try and hit me out at sea. I mean, I hope you don't. As long as you guys let me invade and go in via your port, I think I have a pretty good chance of fighting this battle. I could try and lure you out by attacking this army, but I think I'll have actually a better chance if I t attack the city. Alrighty. Ooh, he's now actually in the port now. Okay. Well, let's see. Ooh, I have a population surplus here. Let me first do that first before I forget. Because over here, I need more stuff. Uh, actually, it might just be best to have you just go to do the baker stuff there. Like, that can be the baker. This area here... Um, it's not bad to have multiple things in this. Because I'd want to get... So I know I'm going to want a baker. I'm going to want a fairground at some point, too. I know it's not bad to have a gibbet. I also will want a paper maker. Probably get the paper maker around here. Do you have enough food for that? You do. So let's try and get this using a more public order and everything else right there. I'll do the increased slot, slot things on my own because I'm going to have to do that now that we've gotten to that point. It doesn't matter too much because it'll take right now because it's going to take a while for us to grow the city even more. You at least got to rank up. Let's get you... Uh, well, actually, no. We want to get the corruption reduction stuff around here. So that you're good there. This area... It's doing a little bit better. At least we now have a little army around here in case they do decide to attack. Uh, or if there's a rebellion. Mean. But now, let us attack the city and see what we can do. So I think we can win this. That's power-wise. God, it's a lot. Oh, it's a lot, but I think we can do this. I think we can do this, seeing as how we fought battles like this before. And as long as they let me get to the city center, I can take this. I, I can take it. And uh, go big or go home. Go big or go home. Because the, the garrison's pretty damn big. Oh, thank you. I, I, I long, As long as it's set up like this, this has a lot of space to allow me to drop off a lot of troops all at once. So now we just have to hope that what they're going to do is hopefully they will focus their attention onto the gates where I'm going to have all of my cab kind of be like trying to distract them. Then I just beeline for the city center and then we just hold the city center once we're in there. That's the hope that we want. That's what, we, that's what we're hoping for. I hope I'm not going to fuck this up. I'm so sorry for these guys. Like, I, in the previous attempt for this campaign, uh, I was actually training these guys. I actually liked them. They were doing well. They were liking me. But now, at this point in time, nah, it's, nah, anybody, anybody that's got a port, they are not safe. I'm taking every single port. I can't wait to just absolutely make a ridiculous amount of money just from trade. So, ooh, actually, I think we want this uh, reduced visibility. Technically, thematically, I think it fits. Also, they have a lot of skirmishers. We want to actually be fighting in the thick of it a bit more. I'm actually going to say you start to plummet. So let's do this. Because I don't want them to be able to see us as easily. So, like, you guys stay here. All of you guys need to get a little bit closer. As we want. I'm going to hope this isn't going to mess us up. But... I think it could be beneficial for us, seeing as how we want to make sure that, like, hey, they don't see us going for the city center. That's what we want. So, like, we're going to go here. Hopefully, uh, they're going to try and disembark. Just make it a pain in the ass to try and see and go get into the city. But I, that's kind of what's to be expected. But, yeah, let's go here. Uh, oh, those are the angry reinforcements. Uh, I must wonder if I should go kill him. Otherwise, I know, like, these guys over here, uh, if they disembark around by me, which looks like they're going to, I can easily just jump you guys and take you out. Oh, man, do I want to kill that one guy? No, I think I should kill the other drop these guys off. Like, that one lord could be an issue. But, like, hey, for right now, I see a lot of the troops are over around the gates. That's what we want. So now we just have to wait for my men to disembark. Okay, so they've got some men trying to stomp us. I have been able to disembark. Still waiting on my crossbows to disembark as well right now. Okay, now there's some more space here. But for right now, just trying to have my infantry see if you can push your way through here. And then we just need to start trying to unload into them with my crossbows to make our way in. Number-wise, man, this is such a ballsy move. I literally am outnumbered two to one, and I'm trying to take their entire fucking city. Like, you guys are just guarding our flank here. Waiting until I'm seeing anybody. At the moment, they're still just still just waiting around here. Uh, these guys... Okay, so I've got my infantry disembarked at least right now. Some of my crossbows are getting down as well now. So let's get you guys to adjust. I'm going to need you to help us out with pushing into these cab units. We need to get through you guys, then into the city center. For the most part, they have... I uh, did most pay attention as much as I should have. And uh, you guys got in here. I, and it should be okay, though. I can just have you guys adjust... 
you can adjust, just defend this flank in case they try and make their way over here. Because for right now, we're just focusing just solely on the safe center. We don't care about anything else. We are outnumbered about, like, what, two to one? Yeah, about two to one right now. And so we're just focusing on trying to do the best we can to just get to the city center. Which at the moment right now, these cav units are losing. Once my crossbows are in position, I think you guys will be able to start taking them out. Like, let's focus down. Try and focus down the, the cab units. Try and focus them down. Once they die, then we'll be able to start making my way into the city center. Oh, oh they did bring that guy over there. Okay, one. I love how you just turned the fuck around for no reason. You turned around as soon as you could have hit my crossbows. Okay, let's get that guy to run away. Get one of my axes back over here. Yeah, those guys are still coming, so at least one of you needs to be here. And crossbows back up. Back up, back up. You try and go back here. So these guys just kind of run away. Just go over here. Right there, 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 and there. Let my axemen kind of do the thing. And then this guy is just going to be behind them. You got my, my infantry is winning against them. It would be a little bit faster if I had my crossbows to help out, but that's fine. Uh, you need to try and stand there. Yeah, start trying to shoot these guys. Because number-wise, I've lost about 80 guys. They've lost about 60 guys. So I actually have lost more than they have so far. Yeah, crossbows start unloading into this guy's back. Come on. Unload. Fire point blank range into this poor spearman. There you go. Much better, yes. Yeah, single him out. Nobody's coming over here right now. I, I do love it. It's just like the thematic aspect of this. It's like, yeah, we are slowly making our way in. They just don't notice us because of the fog. That's the whole point of this. Okay, there we go. That guy broke. Now we need to have it so crossbows. If you guys can, do try and provide some support to hit this guy. Let's leave one of my axemen on each side. Oh, that's a little too close. Right there. Right there, right there. That way you guys are defending our flanks in case they bring anybody else over. Swordsmen. Okay, you're almost done with these cab units. But yeah, let's now just start trying to adjust you guys. Because we're going to need you guys to start taking out the general's bodyguards soon in a second here as well. Let's take right there, there, and there. They are bringing some more men closer to the city center. God, I hope you guys let me take the city center. Because as long as we do that, we're okay. You guys can push in there. Uh, what unit came back? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh, no, they're coming. Oh, they are coming. Okay, men, hold up in shield wall formation. Axe, uh, crossbows, please start unloading into these guys. As I was trying to focus on the Lord, but now they're bringing in more infantry, so we're going to need to start focusing on you guys. God, I may have bitten off more than I can chew here, possibly. I'm gonna hope not. As for right now, I still have a good position here. I just need to have it so that my crossbows, some of you back up so you have a better angle to shoot these guys. Because for right now, we need to focus on their infantry right around here. God, there's way more than I, mean, I was hoping for to try and have to push into. I think we can still win this. The bounce power is still pretty close. I wonder. I'm gonna send one of you. It's hard to tell with the fog, but if this area is actually open, I can get my cabin that way. I'll just send one guy to test, because I don't want to send too many of you guys. Let's see, so for right now, let me just keep trying to adjust you guys. I want to make sure that all of you are firing, and if you're staying on top of each other, you are going to interrupt each other. So just to kind of adjust there a little bit. Keep firing, because we're doing good damage. Let's see, they've lost almost 300 guys. I've lost about 100. If we can keep that rate up, we're doing well. This guy's kind of struggling. I should pull you back. You should pull back because you're a bit beat up. Let's switch who's where. Yeah, because these guys, they're in a perfect spot. It's a really good spot for me to be able to unload into them. So we're doing good damage. There you go. Yeah, as long as you guys can all keep firing, we can easily take these guys out. Let's see. Oh, it's doing a good amount of damage. I just don't think they have, like, like one crossbow here. It's like we have to have it so they're like, hey, you guys. Yeah, as soon as this guy breaks... I'll have to get my crossbows a little bit closer. And if you can, focus on the Lord first. So, like, yeah, you guys are in range to shoot him. So, yeah, focus on him. Try and take out these guys. I honestly would kind of prefer if they make their way forward. Yeah, there's still the guys over here. Yeah, you shouldn't be over here then. Uh, I need to try and get you out of here. Yeah, this is why I only sent one of my cab units, because this is a bit of a... Try and technically destroy the gate, but, like, you might die. We're doing some good damage here to the scab units. So far, I've lost about 150 guys. They've almost lost 400 guys now at this point. 
Crossbows, just keep doing what you can. Just keep slowly whittling them down here. If we have to, I might have to withdraw if we can. For right now, yeah, they're trying to push on in here occasionally. You guys do have shield wall formation, though, so you can hold there nicely. And if you guys can, just keep switching your targets. It's like this guy here is at a good spot to be shot at. I'm wondering if we're going to run out of time, possibly. I mean, that lord is almost dead. So if we can take you out, if we have to withdraw, I'm not opposed to the idea. I just worry if we'd lose too many guys. Is yeah, you guys there? Yeah, it's broken. Crossbows keep trying to fire into their lord. Yep, one enemy general's dead. This guy's about to get into melee here, so we're probably going to switch my attention over to you in a second. Like, I'm going to use every single crossbow I've got here. Some of you adjust your shots to the infantry here. Because we have a lot of ammo. We do. So if we can use all my ammo, we can push through nicely. Like, I am killing more of their men than they are of mine. Like, they're about to lose their second general. This guy's not doing that great. He's shattering. There you go. Just keep firing, guys. Second general's almost dead. Infantry, do try and hit this guy if you can. Because we just need to capture the city center. That's why I'm keeping you guys in reserve, so I at least have somebody at high health, because these guys are going to take a lot of damage. Okay, that Yim's almost dead. Once we're past these guys, I think we can make my way in. Uh, they've got some crossbows, some spearmen here, too. More spearmen, too. God damn it. I just keep seeing more of them. They've lost about 700 guys now. Focus on the Spearmen now. Ooh, some of them are starting to break. Some of my guys are starting to break too, though. Uh, get into melee with those crossbows, I would say, though. We've been able to take out about almost a thousand guys now at this point. So try and get up here. Try and get in melee with their skirmishers. And then my crossbows, just keep doing what you can to keep firing into these units. So just gotta keep getting a little bit closer. Keep firing. Oh, some of you guys are wavering. God, we might have to withdraw. Like, my crossbows are doing good damage. You need to stop. You need to stop. You can keep firing. No, just, just, get, just get set up there. Shoot people. Like, I've taken out so many of you guys. But because I've done so much damage to their lords right now, I am absolutely doing some really good damage morale-wise. Just my infantry is not holding up nicely. God, I'm gonna—I'm really worried we're actually like lose this fight. You guys need to make your way up here. I'm gonna have to retrain no matter what happens. That's power-wise. It's so close though. Like, just look how much damage we're doing here. My guys are holding. You need to back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Yeah, just keep like firing into this spot, guys. Yeah, my guys are breaking as soon as they get low enough. But if my crossbows can keep firing into their infantry and keep shattering them. Like, they've lost 1,200 guys. I've only lost 500. I am losing a lot of guys, though. If I could get my cab in here, that'd be amazing, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Axemen, at least. Yeah, let's get you guys now start trying to run in here as well. Because we're breaking a lot of them. I just need to touch the city center. I just need to take the damn city center. And the amount of damage my crossbows are doing right now is amazing. Like, look how many of their men are breaking. The morale is going down immensely. Come on, guys. I believe in you. I believe in the Teutonic Order. Keep pushing, guys. Keep pushing. Just need to make sure you guys are firing and some of you guys aren't being idiots. Like, what are you doing? You're, you're moving up. You're not supposed to be moving up. You guys should not be moving forward. You should just be firing from where you're at. Doing what you can. God damn. Please don't make me lose all of my infantry and all of my crossbows for this. I think we can still win this. Come on, you guys need to be able to push through these guys. Stop. Some of you guys are being idiots and moving forward into melee when you're not supposed to be. So as long as you guys don't do that... Yeah, those guys broke. Oh, come on, Axeman. Hey, get in here. Get in here. Just get on the fucking point. 
Get on that point, start capturing it. Get this point and we're good. Okay, now let me start moving some of my crossbows up to get a better angle. There's so many dead right now. Oh, so many dead. Yeah, you guys just keep focusing these units down. That spearman's gonna be an issue. They're taking out 1,700 of them so far. I just need to hope that my axemen don't break. If they don't break, I think we can do this. So you guys go over there. You guys go there. Like, you're winning that fight. We're not capturing this just yet. I need you guys to adjust. You keep focusing here. You guys switch targets to the spearmen. Focus on this crossbowman right here. All of you guys will be doing the same thing as soon as you're up here. Right there. Right there. Come on, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. It's going to put my favor now. Come on, there we go, they shattered again. I need to get rid of these towers though too if I possibly can. Yeah, get back over here, get back, get to, get to those axemen. Do not let them get in melee with my crossbows. I'm gonna try and adjust you guys. No, actually you're fine, you're fine as you were. These crossbows keep firing. The point is being under my control. Come on. Kill this unit faster. Because we're capturing it. But I'm worried about this. Come on, come on, come on. You guys need to take him out. Oh, they've got cab in the back. Shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, the one of you that are still okay. Run up here. Axeman, you need to fight that cab unit. Shit. Oh, it's so close. Come on, Axeman, I believe in you. Just keep holding them. Taking out 2,000 of them so far. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Try and shoot this other crossbow unit. Yeah, try and shoot them. Yeah, just trying to pull back here, guys. Get out of melee with that cab unit. We're about to have the city center. Open fire into this guy. Okay. Now the waiting game. Now the waiting game. Can we hold for the duration? If we can, we get the fucking city. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm hoping you guys can do this. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Get back over here. We need to get out of melee. Just don't bring anybody else over, please. Okay. I think, I think we're good. You guys right now, yep, try and get this tower deactivated. So try and just go over here. Everybody else, uh, just fucking wait. Because uh, there is this tower, but uh, it's not the best angle to shoot us. So I'm okay with that. We just need to survive for a little longer. Just another 60 seconds. I know I could just cut to when we're done, but I don't want to because it's so fucking close. Oh fuck, they brought Spearman over here. Come on. I think it will still take them some time to capture it. Come on, start shooting that guy. I think we're good. I, I think we're good. Axemen, just distract this guy. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Oh boy, that was fucking close. I lost like almost all my infantry. I lost like almost every single fucking one of you, but... Oh, but that is so for fucking worth it. Axemen, complete MVPs there. Crossbows did some really good damage too. I, I think I lost every single one of those swordsmen. But they lost everything. Yeah, I lost every single swordsman and one crossbow. But I took out 3,000 fucking guys. Almost 4,000. Oh, fuck yeah. Occupy this. This is so worth it. Oh, I love that. Now I need to rebuild my army. Uh, I make a bit more money now, too. So, uh, hey, I get some better armor upgrades for you guys. Beautiful. I just need to get more infantry at some point again. But for right now, though, damn, that was worth it. Um... Morale and Leading Siege, that would not be bad. Just more morale in general would be good too, though. Oh, but there we go. Okay, so now... 
now we've got this area. I mean, Imperium also went up. So now I should be able to have one more priest. Which I'm gladly going to grab next turn. Because I will definitely use that to try and help with you guys here. Oh, I should probably disband this army then, actually. Because I don't need you. So I'm going to disband you guys. I'm going to get a priest next turn. Um, it'll be far more worth it just to get another priest. Have him watch over that area. And we definitely need just a couple more turns of recovery. Because, oh my god, did we take a lot of damage. I do think... I'm going to repair you. That's a trading dock, so that's good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to demolish these buildings. I don't want them for right now. I'm going to replace them with something else. Yeah, now that I've got some money again now that my Imperium has increased, I needed to get another governor. I do see... Also, I love that everyone's just literally... At the moment, you're disloyal. Why are you disloyal? Um, traits, household, and spouse. I do not like that. Mm, I need to get a new governor. Is there anybody that's... Because you're already a governor. Already a governor, other nobles. What's your stats? Tempted to have you try it. You've been spurned. So if I give you something to do, maybe you won't hate me. So, while I don't like it, I'm going to try and have you go over here. So you be the governor of this area. And I'll have you be the governor of this area. And Knuckleberg. Yeah, do that. Because I've got an army in the other city. So that way, we can then start trying to get some more growth over here. More growth over here. So do that. You're watching over this area. I need to get another priest. Let's grab... Eh, doesn't really matter which one you get. Just whoever's youngest, Franz. Let's grab Franz. So Franz, you'll be making your way over here next turn. Try and help watch over the territory. And then for right now, we're going to definitely be taking our time to build up what we have. Because I took a beating for this city. And I'm going to want to make sure that we're ready before we just try and try and leave around here. Um, I can't recruit my stuff around here. What's the population size of this area, actually? Oh, I've got a decent amount. This is technically an unlawful territory. Um, but uh, I'm keeping it. <laughs> I am keeping this. So we'll be having, so we'll stay over here. I think I might actually, maybe I'll get, because I've got like one of my things over here. I should get another one over on this side. That way... I'll have two areas to be able to try and recruit from, and then I will just focus on not having to go all the way the hell back to be able to fix this. So we'll just kind of do that. Keep demolishing this things, these things. I do need to get some more food, so we'll basically we'll get one more food building, one more, and then one religious building around here. That should be good. I do need to have it so... I don't think I have enough money to get anything else for right now. We just need to like wait until areas grow. Uh, no, I can get something here. I'm probably going to get this. Again, more food, more sanitation, more uh, wine... That's not bad overall. I think I think we'll grab that. Because we're going to get some more public order from stuff like around here anyways. And then I just have nothing else to build right here for now. Oh man, my economy is going up so much right now. I fucking love that. There we go. Make 4k now. But yeah, so let's get some more food. Get some more food around here because you guys are struggling a little. Oh no, yes, you're okay right now. You're okay. Now that we repaired things, you're doing fine. Okay, so now we will get this. I'll grab that. And then I think we should grab... We'll get the baker around here. Yeah, so grab that. You guys are all with each other. And this is just me finishing some stuff up over here. I don't have the money to build it up right now, but I do want that to become a baker. So we're trying to grab that. And then for right now, I definitely do just need more time to try and get all these areas built up for right now. Because I think, like, you're okay. You're struggling a little bit, but you're doing okay. Uh, this one's doing okay. You definitely do need to make your way over here to help watch over that territory. It's about to grow, though, too. So in about a couple turns, uh, we will be able to grow this area. I can then get the bakery around here. This area will then be happy. It's then just like how bad this is going to be. This one's in unlawful territory, so it's going to be a little pissed off for a little bit. But I'm going to hope that for right now, I have actually been building better bonds with the people around me here. So that we... Denmark's almost dead. Ooh. Yeah, the next people I'm going for is going to be Denmark. I want to take that territory. I want that city. That way I then just have all my lands connected around here. Eventually I'll probably try and control this stuff too. But I feel like we're not going to want to piss off too many people for right now. So we just need to build ourselves up. Then we're going to be wanting to try and take this territory. For right now, let's see. You got another population surplus. Beautiful. So that's way down over here. You guys, yeah, you don't have the bakery building over here yet. So we're going to grab that first. 
Let's see, you guys are at war. Yeah, a lot of stuff is going on with uh, Scotland over there. So maybe Scotland will be a really good trade partner to get at some later point. For right now, though, let's go here. Then have you deploy in this area. It's going down by minus one, but that's enough, at least, that you should be okay. You'll have enough time to get that to grow. And we'll be able to do a bit more around there. Uh, over here, yeah, you'll finish this up next turn. This area here, it's going down minus three. A, a big chunk of that is, like, at this point in time, I'm not at war with anybody, so my war awareness, we need to get that down. And then also, it's just the fact that right now we have the unlawful territory, which I'm keeping this one. I'm keeping this port. And I'm going to hope that I just don't piss off everybody. I'm going to hope you survive, whales. I'm okay paying that tiny amount of money, as I'm making a bit more now. But hopefully, you guys are going to be able to stay alive. Maybe you. I, okay, whoever I'm trading with, please, I'm going to root for you guys to be the ones that are going to win. Because I want a good trade partner in England. This is as far west as I want to go. We went further west than last time when I tried to do this campaign, and I'm going to hope that we don't have to go any further west right now, because I don't want to. I want to go to the east, because that's where we are going to actually have a lot more of our expansion opportunities um, for our victory conditions. So ideally, this is as far as west as we go. Um, I will be trying to deal with Denmark for sure. Basically, we're going to be sitting in uh, Groningen, uh, Groningen uh, for at least 10 turns. Um, that way, we can then try and have a sort of going to build these guys up. And then, once that's ready, I'll hope that uh, I can try and go get rid of Denmark. So you here need to get a baker. So get a baker there. Because we want to try and get the sanitation a little bit better. So you can do that. I do hate how you guys are chilling right there. I'll to deal with you guys at some point. But for right now, I, I don't see a need to focus on you guys. Not at the me in the meantime. Because for right now, we're really just trying to take advantage of the fact I've got money. I want to spend my money. I want to build up more of my money. And then eventually, I'll go for Poznan. I do think now, at this point in time, this is probably going to be a pretty good place to be done for today. We've been able to get a lot set up, a lot built up, and a lot into position. Um, we'll be continuing to con uh, try and keep building up our economy. Because, like, hey, right now, I make 5k. I make 5k per turn. We'll keep trying to consolidate the land we have for right now as you guys are getting better around here uh, a little bit. Now we have, it's so like all these territories are gonna start going up in public order. We've got enough money that I can start, like, hey, trying to upgrade this. Hey, this little area is literally about to grow next turn so we can get another thing built up there. Uh, I definitely think at this point in time right now, the next goal is gonna be going after the forces of Denmark. I think for right now here, probably next turn, um, I wanna get yeah, the order priory is the one I have up there, right? Because I think we'll, we'll get one of these over here as well. Yeah, the Order Priory. So we get the Order Priory. That way I'll be able to just recruit my re recruit my troops over here. Once we have this army back up in tip-top shape, then we can have it so that by that time I think that'll be ready for us to make our way back over here. Hit Poznan. We'll get rid of this army. Then hit Poznan. Then I've got all this land under control. I'll probably have it and see if I can maybe get my economy strong enough by then that I can have a second army. And the second army, similar to what I did last campaign, um, I, I want to have that one have artillery pieces. Then we start making my way over to the east and push into these guys. Once I have an army with artillery pieces, I'm going to feel really good about doing that. In the meantime, I really do not want to fucking do that as going for, especially with the winter, uh, going for cities in the, with the winter like it is without siege equipment is absolute ass. But I do think we're going to be done for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts on it in general? I was ramping. I'll see you guys next time. Doing that. In the meantime, I really do not want to fucking do that. As going for...